welcome to another episode of NOC Plays. I've been getting a lot of mobile games requests and instead of just making one or two games, I'm like, why not make a series dedicated to mobile games? That's right, it's NOC Plays App of the Month. Mobile Games of the Month. We, we will see, we see what's the title. As you can see, there's a microphone here. It's to take the mobile audio because Android is being very difficult. And uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna use Apple, but you know, forgive me for having a poor or not perfect setup for a mobile. But we are getting there, we are getting there. Next one is full on. So today, we are looking at Tales of Thorn. Let's see the app in the App Store. Tales of Thorn. I have already installed the game. The short info, epic role-playing experience, forge weapons, recruit allies and defeat evil. It is role-playing but it's like the gameplay is hack and slash. You get the best of both worlds, right? The review is 4.5. Quite impressive. Uh, let's see some reviews lah before we go into the game. Uh, where have you been all my life? Just a few hours of playing and already hooked. The fact that your character will depend on what weapon you use is pure genius. That is true. I will explain that when we go in the game. So I'm just gonna go through four of the features. And one is the lobby. I really love the lobby. Unlike a lot of the similar mobile games, what set Tales of Thorn apart is the lobby, I would say. You can go through the lobby, it's 360 degrees. I'm not sure whether you can talk. I never talked to any of them, but you can actually add them. And you can see like, check your profile. You can chat, you can chat. And you can add as friend. Yeah, so I just sent a friend request. So never seen in a mobile game app before. I'm really impressed. Like a lobby that you can see your friends in. Number two, I'm just gonna go straight into the gameplay. You just go into Avengers. I'm always very impressed with mobile games. Like five years ago, mobile games, you can only play Snake and all this kind of stuff. And now you can like play full featured hack and slash game. The trend now these days for mobile games is this kind of hack and slash. You can move around, slash, and then there's skills. Yep, yep. Look at that. As you can see on the right, there's a lot of uh, abilities. There's four abilities with this roll, which is very nice touch. It adds a bit of skill to the game, you know? Like you can dodge here and dodge there. And there's this dragon. Freaking amazing, look at the dragon. What? I miss, I miss. But yeah, the dragon does a lot, quite, a, quite a lot of damage. So let's complete this mission. And yes, one thing I really love about this is that critical rate at the top right. It, 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 it reminds me of that game Devil May Cry. It was the thing, man. It was the thing, that, that SS rating. And, and if you think of it, the gameplay is similar to Devil May Cry and you can actually, I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add the freaking Devil May Cry music and put it in here and make a montage. Obviously, it's quite simple now, but as you progress through the adventures, it gets a lot harder. All right, so that's the basic gameplay. Very simple, very easy. And next feature that I really, really like is that instead of characters having different skills, for this game, you get one character and you can actually change your skills by changing your weapon, which I think is brilliant. So you go to heroes. So you look at the weapons at the bottom, all this. These weapons will dictate what skills you will get. The reason why I think it's brilliant is because you play a game, you get connected to your character. And if you change character, you know, kind of lose that connection with the game. And with this Tales of Thorn, you get only one character, you get to bond with your character, you get to connect with your character, and you get to change your skills just by swapping your weapons. Brilliant. I give you a round of applause. But really, I think it's a genius thing to do. And that's what the guy was saying uh, in the review. Very, very, very good. Other games do have single character and like a skill tree. But you know, sometimes if you add wrongly, you cannot go back and, and change another skill. So I think this is, this is just for a mobile game brilliant because it's easy uh, to swap out, easy to get. And the last thing that I really like about this game is the outfits. The customization for this game is, I want to say endless, but I think there's an end to it, but it's endless, it's endless. Like, there's so many outfits. Uh, let's see where's the outfits. Outfits, 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 and there. You do need the rubies to buy the outfits, but there's so many ways to get the rubies. You can get it by just signing in every day. You can get it by defeating the boss for the first time. Obviously, one is to just buy it 
for cash. I did buy some for cash because, you know, I'm a sucker for it. So let's see. We got headwear, body, and back. Back. Oh, the back. Right. And if you can see, my body is okay already. My my back got that sword. Oh wait, if my back is the, the, the head. Huh. Let's see. Oh! I'll f I found my perfect back. Freaking wings, man. Holy shit. Bye, bye, bye. See, body, we already have something really cool. So we don't need that. Now we have to change our hat because our hat is a bit uh, kiddy looking. Nah, doesn't match our outfit. Ooh! White hair. Guys, white hair. Freaking. This is Devil May Cry. This guy is Dante already. That's it, that's it, that's it. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, look at that. So other things you can do is combine two items to create one higher level. You got, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's put this two piece because I don't really like this two piece. We fabricate it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ooh, white wedding. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Very nice. You know what? It actually kind of suits the wings, although it doesn't, but it does. Oh, that's basically what I want to talk about this app. If I were to explain every single function of this app, it will never go on. So it's for you to discover. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the adventure. The adventure page itself has five options you can pick from. Uh, you got Soul Gate, you got Boss Trial, you got Arena, you got Challenge, you got Sky Tower, and you got the normal like adventure. It's just hours and hours of gameplay. A lot of nights, you know, just lying down and playing your game. Yeah, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> if I were to rate this app, I would say this app will give you uh, no sleep. Yeah, that's my rating. No sleep for you because it will get hooked. Just try it out. The link is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this series. Tell me what other games you want to see in this series. Don't, don't recommend games that you know are the popular ones. I want to showcase apps that no one's seen before. So don't request things like Angry Birds, Clash of Clans, uh, all those popular ones, don't need, don't need. Re recommend me a game right that no one have ever heard before and you are like obsessed with it and I will be sure to feature that in the next month of NOC Plays App of the Month or game, mobile game of the month. I don't know yet, I don't know yet. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe. And remember to download it. I mean, it's free, so no harm trying it out. Trust me. If you like this kind of hack-and-slash game, role-playing game, you will love it. So, yes.